All right, we are at the Residence Inn, Washington, D.C., at the Convention Center. It's a brand new hotel that has opened recently. Um, didn't know, I didn't notice the last time I was there. I think it's brand new. It's right next to the Mar Merritt Marquis, and it's the same setup as you have in... Uh, LA, if you stay there at the LA Live, there's a courtyard also in the same building, same reception, two different elevators, courtyard, not as uh, good. Uh, this is a residence inn, it was actually the same price, so which I find kind of weird. Let's do the tour, just got here. There's a dishwasher, here's a coffee maker, with uh which doesn't for those who've watched these videos i don't drink drip coffee so it's a nice little centerpiece for me you've got a, a fridge a couple of burners and uh yeah you've got you know everything you need to stay here for a while i guess you got some yeah like a normal residence in pretty decently um Filled with stuff. You've got a cauldron and some stuff. Yeah, you could, uh, you know, stay for a while. If you get into trouble and get thrown out of your house, it might be a good place to get a crash. Um, so, um, or something. Uh, so full kitchen. I can actually make things. It's not an oven though, but uh, you know, microwave probably has uh, convection stuff. I'm um, not sure. I don't think so. But anyways, uh, not an expert of those. I'm not going to claim that. A little seating area. Uh, we've seen this before. TV swivels around. Beautiful day in D.C. As you can see up on the corner there. It's full sunny. And beautiful. 5 p.m. Last week in February. So, like, not, not the most comfortable thing. I don't know why the couch has been pulled off from behind the bed. Let's check out outside. You can see the marquee, which is a familiar property to most. Let's stay there a couple of times. And the convention center is right there. That's the kicker. Right for this room, 118 bucks. So not bad per night. Uh, you've got the bed, king size. You've got your remote control, and uh, yeah, TV we show the swivel stuff, little seating area. Got a little dresser, closet with the iron stuff. You've got a couple, a couple of bars of soap. What are these things? Body lotion. Sample, sample body lotion and really tiny soap. You got a couple of dishcloths. You've got, uh, or dishcloths, basically, you know, what are they called? Um, you know, hand towels. You got two bath towels. The quality is normal. You've got uh, North 39, 39 North. I gotta admit, I've never heard of that, but uh, you know, single serve stuff. They do have one tiny bar of soap, which is a cleaning bar, cleansing bar. So I guess we're doing the whole body lotion in the, uh, in the thing. It's good that I always bring my own soap. All right, that is the thing. I thought it was kind of interesting and I'm gonna show that in the conclusion of the video. They give you like a college dorm style or what is it called again? A hostel type of thing where you got a sign. Uh, it's the weekend, but this is a convention hotel. So it surprises the hell of me. Maybe it's because it's so cheap. But they made me sign a waiver or like a thing that if I make noise uh, after 10 p.m., I will be evicted and I'll have to pay a $250 fee unless uh, whatever. Then there was a smoking thing that I also had to sign. 
uh, on the same form. And the last thing on the form was, uh, you know what, I'm going to have, I'm going to have Ruslan put that in the, uh, in the review so you can see it. Because it was quite extensive, uh, uh, this thing that they wanted you to sign. It was three different things that really business travelers like me don't, uh, well, at least not anymore, are in the chance of doing. So this, uh, we'll see how this day goes. It's Friday, leaving on Sunday here for the travel show, travel and adventure show with the Frequent Travel University. Um, and we'll see how it goes over the weekend. I'll report back when I check out on Sunday. Uh, the Renaissance, no, it's not the Renaissance. It's the Residence in Washington, D.C. Convention Center. That's what this is. Enjoy our weekend, and we'll check back with in, in with you on uh, Sunday. A few moments later. All right, it is Sunday at the Residence Inn Convention Center in Washington, D.C. Right across the street from the Convention Center where we, um, <coughs> excuse me, we're supposed, where we had our, uh, our show this weekend, and uh, uh, I was staying here, Jamie was staying next door at the courtyard, and Rudy was standing at the Grand, Grand Hyatt, which is the place we usually stay at. Um, it's a little bit of a walk, and the club was closed, but it turns out that it's open, so this was a, uh, <laughs> uh, for $12 extra, could have stayed over there, which, you know, it's, will be the recommendation for, uh, for next year to go back to that. It's nothing wrong with this hotel. It's a residence inn. Uh, I think that the, the complaints that I would have, if, the, if any, um, to do the positive first. The internet is fast. Um, it's uh, reliable. And um, um, the, you get a decent amount of space for a residence in. It's brand new. It's also a good thing. They did do housekeeping yesterday, so that's great. Um, or normal. Um, I think that if we were to go to the negatives, I think that the, first of all, it's, uh, you know, you uh, sign a waiver when you check in, which gives me a really bad vibe. There wasn't any noise to speak of this weekend. Uh, there's a couple coming back uh, in the middle of the floor, so close to the elevator, not close enough to hear it, but people walking by a little bit later than I went to, I got back here at 11, at 11 p.m., went to bed about midnight local time, so nothing to see, but uh, you have you find a sign a form like it's a, uh, a hostel, like, uh, and, uh, you know, very harsh language that uh, you will be evicted. If you get one noise complaint against you, you will immediately be evicted and you have to pay, you lose your, your, your payment for your room and you get a $250 fine which is kind of sporty to say the least it's fine I mean it's good I I'm not I'm not a party in hotel room type of guy anymore but you know that's how it goes but and then there's same thing with smoking uh, you have to also sign that which is fine uh, there were a couple of other things on the list I'm gonna put it up on the screen judge for yourself never seen anything like it before uh, and you know, I probably have, but I can't remember in the last, ever seeing it at a, a chain hotel. The other thing, they had a, a lot of plastic, uh, which is a, a Marriott staple at some of these lower end properties. Uh, plastic cups, plastic utensils and stuff at breakfast. It's really an abomination that shouldn't happen anymore. It is so, such a waste. And to save a, a, you know, some sense on that, it's not a good gig. Um, another thing is I wanted to get a, they didn't have at the, the breakfast, the Renaissance, residence in breakfast, they didn't have, um, a coffee machine. So I went to the courtyard part of the building. These two hotels are together. They wanted 750 for a double espresso, which is highway robbery, uh, <laughs> for especially for a, for a cheesy property or for a low end property. So, um, that's the second one. The last thing is just, just the staff here is just indifferent, really indifferent. And they're just, they're, they're the, they're, they're kind of buddying it at the, at the reception, hanging out together while I was waiting to check in. Uh, same with the valet guys, you know, young kids, 
screaming out and having but not ballet kids but like board bellhops and they have quite a few of them bellhops uh, and stuff hanging out in the front door here it's just it seems unprofessional and and it was just I also uh, when I was here I was asking for if I could get a one bedroom instead of this uh, I texted I you rarely do this but I texted in advance to the in the Marriott app to the hotel and asked for a one bedroom so I could uh, do a couple of videos in here and uh, not have my bedroom, uh, you know, have, have it and not attached to, uh, so I can have like a door to close. Uh, I've got the standard answer um, in the same way that that note was written. Um, I honestly didn't care. We ended up being doing it over at the convention center instead. Um, but uh, at check in, the lady was like a big question mark, and she didn't get it, and. Uh, um, indifferent and I, I, I to be honest with you I didn't ask when I checked in she gave me this room it was what I booked it wasn't even a slight of an upgrade so uh, looking at the Bonvoy uh, devaluation yesterday you know as the as a lifetime titanium titanium what you get here uh, at a hotel that's empty this weekend it was $118 I get a um, I got a, a, I got a Skittles and a bottle of water, and, or uh, two hundred and fifty or five hundred points or something like that, which is you know literally a couple dollars. Nothing else. Uh, the, that's the value of it. So, I mean, this is a good year to start thinking about you know either you know Hyatt is obviously still there's value in that program. I really, don't find the value in these things. I mean, the number of points you get and all that stuff. It's just not jiving when you see the increases on the on the properties where you redeem uh, dropping a couple of days ago, and uh, but I mean for 118 bucks it's fine. Breakfast was mediocre at best, uh, better than the uh, than the um, the last weekend I had at the uh, at the um, at the uh, Hyatt in Santa Rosa and uh, also the Hyde Regency O'Hare, better than that, but you know, all the plastic kind of makes it a, a bad experience. I'm not a big fan of, of throwing things out when we know how plastic, uh, how long it takes for plastic to deteriorate. It's not a, not a cool thing. So, uh, but for 118 bucks, um, there's a lot of hotels around here. The Grand Hyatt was like 130, uh, so, uh, which is, you know, 10 minute walk from here. Uh, that's gonna be my next, uh, that it was my go-to property, but I, did, I chose not to do it because the club was closed. Um, and now it's open. And uh, we've got some photos from that that we're gonna be showing uh, on the show on Thursday. And then go through it. We're gonna talk a little bit about that for those of you who follow the Miles and Points Report. All right, that is the Residence Inn Convention Center in Washington, D.C. Um, fine for 118 bucks. Uh, but when you look at what's around here, there are better alternatives. Signing off, enjoy your Sunday.